If we step up inside, wow, this is a really nice living quarters. Some, most things that you see in here are standard. This particular customer ordered a few options and I'll point those out to you. The first thing you'll notice is the removable pedestal table. That is not standard, but you can see that you can easily sit down on one side or the other side and uh, comfortably seat two people and be able to sit down and, and eat or have breakfast or lunch or whatever you want to do. Up at the front in the nose, there's plenty of space for sleeping. You have a front wardrobe that'll open up and you can use that for storage. There's also reading lights, uh, a his and a hers, or a his and a his and a hers and a hers, however how you want to do it. Uh, large windows, we have more questions about window operation. You simply lift up and lift up. And to close it down, uh, the exact opposite, grab onto the bottom bar, let that down, and then your next bar, let it down as well. This particular trailer, uh, all double D trailers are certified in the living quarters. And this is your exit or egress escape window in case of fire or safety hazard, you'd be able to escape. You just have an extra outlet without having to go through your door your dress door. Uh, the cabinets are all, these are a standard cabinet, it's made of solid oak. And you can see the finish on the wood are nice and smooth and um, probably as nice if not better quality than the cabinets in your home. Uh, like I say they're handmade, hand sanded and hand stained also. We do a convenient shelf all the way from one end to the other. To break that up so that you can utilize the space as much as possible. Large picture window for additional airflow. I'll just pan around so you can see this. Uh, the Trailblazer package normally comes with a three cubic refrigerator underneath that cooktop. Now in this one there are two cabinet doors and this customer elected to have a six cubic refrigerator in place of the closet in the bathroom, so we rearranged the layout slightly, and I'll explain that to you. Uh, the two burner cooktop on uh, the RV range hood, you'll notice the controls. You have uh, your black water and gray water ter water monitor system. You just press the button, and it'll tell you how much of each is in there. You have your water heater control switch, your lights, and water pumps also on there. Uh, nice LED lighting. LEDs pull really low amp. They provide a lot of light and low amp draw, which is what we want since we're running off the 12 volt portion of the trailer. Now, this customer elected not to have a television, but we did go ahead and install a receptacle just in case she wants to mount a flat screen for future use. Uh, air conditioning is standard, but this vent is not. Now, this is an extremely nice vent and they are variable speed. Um, this particular one has an automatic feature. You can set it to blow in or to blow out whichever way that you would want to do and they'll move a tremendous amount of air in either direction. So if you're looking for a 12 volt fan to move a significant amount of air without running an air conditioner, uh, those would certainly do it. It's called a fantastic fan and it is fantastic. Okay, in most, in the normal layout, we would not have this section here, but uh, this customer chose to have the layout this way. It created a nice step to get up into the bed and then a convenient little area for just sitting in some drinks and a little whatnot storage shelf for uh, cell phones and whatever you want to throw on there. And she also requested to have a 12 volt cell phone charger and so we mounted that in for her. Now if you want to remove this table, you, just, you can pick it up and sit it up here out of the way. Uh, it just sits in the floor on that pole and it will pull out of here as well. I can't do it with one hand, we need two. But the advantage is now it's out of the way when we don't want to use it. 
you can easily store it up underneath your sofa uh, on top of the 52 gallon water tank that's a significant amount of water compared to most but your table will store underneath there or inside of your closet the sofas you may choose there are lots of choices on sofas in materials, fabrics, uh, patterns, designs. They're all uh, individually made, so you can choose whatever style sofa that you want. They're very comfortable, my opinion, more comfortable than a dinette. Uh, I certainly prefer them over a dinette, but you can fold these out and they'll be up to four feet wide. You can still walk by there. Um, a full 72 inches long so an adult can sleep. And of course, kids are more than welcome. Uh, we do have a just a fold up on the end creates additional counter space and to let that down you would just lift up on it and uh, get rid of the legs underneath and that folds back down with one hand your two burner cooktop here you can raise that up I'm not going to so it'll make a lot of noise your sink you may choose uh, white black or stainless only enough room on this layout for a single sink uh, receptacle in case you want to plug in a coffee maker or something and in the microwave you can choose black white or stainless let's see this trailer is standard seven feet in height and I believe uh, this customer may have chosen a seven six instead of a standard seven so we may be a little bit taller I have to look at the specs alright if we pan on around uh, you have a folding fabric door. That's going to close off your uh, bathroom area. There we go. That's your privacy door to your bathroom. Takes up minimal space. Easy to operate and just doesn't give us uh, any problems over the years. I like those doors and they're inexpensive. Okay, um, we have a six cubic refrigerator here. Normally we'd have a, a nice size closet, but I like the taller refrigerator too, and this is a good space to do it. So you have a bottom section and a top. And these refrigerators are extremely nice because they'll run off of, um, you can run them off of electric or you can run them off of gas, either one. And it'll automatically detect which one it goes to. And it says right now it's running on gas, and it is because it's cold. A furnace is optional. Your trailer comes standard with a heat strip. In mild climates, um, I think a heat strip is fine. If you're going to do a lot of cold weather camping, you may want to consider getting that furnace option. They'll warm it up quickly, even without power. Heat strip and an air conditioner. You need power furnace. You do not because it's 12 volt. The showers in these are roomy home style shower control, a little place for a washcloth and soap bar and uh, set up your shampoo. Uh, we did have to move the toilet out from the wall in order to accommodate this layout with the taller refridge. I don't have a problem with that. To me it's still functional. We were able to get some nice storage here. We try to utilize every ounce of space on storage and uh, full height closet on this. A lot of space in that closet. Uh, we did a mirror. So you can step out of the shower and have a place to dress. And your walk through door that is standard on all trailers to your horse area. A lot of folks like to uh, once they once you get to where you're going they'll clean that horse area out, sweep it out and uh, close it all off and of course since you're New Double D is completely insulated in the horse area, including the roof. You're able to open up this walkthrough door and really use uh, your horse area for extra camping and space and uh, sleeping, whatever you need to do. Okay, we did a, looks like a toilet paper holder, a towel bar, receptacle over here to use if needed, a little linen closet here for storage, and then back in the front section. Okay, this is uh, this is the Safe Tack two horse with the Trailblazer living quarter package. And then one final
final thing that I do want to point out to you, uh, this trailer does not have a screen. None of them do. A sliding screen or bug screen would be an option. And the reason for that, we used to purchase all of our doors, including our camper doors. And the problem that we had with those is they're, uh, well, they're inexpensive, but they're also really flimsy. They're not a quality door. And you could put the knee test on it, I like to call it, and the doors would easily warp. Over time, they'll come apart. They have plywood inside. These doors here are built inside the Double D factory. They're made out of aluminum. They're double walled, so you have a panel inside and out. They're not any bolts or screws or rivets. And what I like about them is they're insulated. And when you open and close, it sounds like a door and it feels like a door. And of course, you can even do one hand operation. And so we're not, we're not using a conventional RV door with a screen any longer. We're using a much nicer factory built door that we make or that is made at Double D Factory here. And then we offer the sliding screen as an option. Um, another technology that we utilize to prevent sheet warpage is you'll notice there are not any bolts or screws or rivets in any of the sheets. Everything is it's all flat and it's all smooth. And the reason for that is 3M has a technology and a, truly a chemical bonding process takes place so that uh, the sheet is independent from the tubing upright and the advantage is, is it can breathe and move freely. So on a day like today when it's so hot outside, we don't have to worry about the sheets warping or buckling. We have expansion joints from top to bottom and that allows the sheet to move independent uh, from the structure and it can move as it needs to. And of course this trailer is built uh, using the Z-Frame technology. And if we go up underneath the trailer, you can see the cross members. We use a 2 by 8 pressure treated pine wood floor. And then there's a subfloor on top of that inside your living quarter, so a very solid floor. And also the living quarter wall is separate from the horse area, or the, the two floors are in the wall separates those provides a lot of additional strength and uh, just really makes uh, for a solid trailer. This particular trailer has not passed inspection yet so um, there may be a few minor details missing but overall it's almost finished. Okay, this is the SafeTac 2 horse with Trailblazer package.